Tyrese, we're gathered here today to look at some Joel Embiid film from a 70-point game. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Hey! We got smacked this game. Oh, my gosh. Tell, hey. us, tell, tell the people what you see. This is fifth grade Tyrese Maxey. <laughs> I just got a steal, assist, and a layup. Oh, my God, even more out. I don't even know what this is. This is fifth grade, too. That's me right there, huh? Yeah, they say I couldn't shoot. They lied. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Chris on here somewhere. Hold on, hold on. That's it. Hey! This is not 70 points, Joel, but this is cold young Reese right here. Look at him. <laughs> Low cut and everything. Get back, get back, get back. Rebound, yeah. Get out, yeah. See, I'm still fast. Dime. Lay, yeah, okay. This sixth grade, though. This sixth grade. Oh, bounce. Oh, oh. Flow! So you always had the little floater, my. What's that? You always had the little floater. Yeah, facts. I was always small. Facts. But then I grew. Uh. Try to duck on people. Come on, man. Let's get to this highlight. Oh. <laughs> that was over. That was lit, though. That was, yeah, some good highlights. Man, you, know? you only seen two. You was late. I know. Yeah, I, saw you, I saw you not pass the ball yeah. and then shoot a floater. Yeah, I don't know. Watch the game. Watch the game. Watch the floater. Huh? Flow. What a little one. Why is shorts on his ankles? <laughs> Bro, we was. Fifth grade, what you want us to have? Man, style. This one, this one, this one, look at him. Oh, he ain't got no socks. He ain't got no body. <laughs> he <ain't> got sure. <laughs> Below, though. Oh, dime, see you. Okay, okay. Now, look at my shorts, though. Why everything's so big on y'all? I mean, shoot. Yeah. That's all they had? Yeah. We was cold, though. We came out of era where they was me, wearing look that. Look at me, look at me. Yeah, what's up? Uh, PG. Get back, Chris. No, no, that's me right there. No, that's me. You don't know who you are? No, that's me. That's me. That's Chris. That's me. Uh-huh. Bucky. Yeah. So that's you for sure? Yeah, that's me. Number three. Okay, okay, okay. I wore all the way three all the way until I got here. What happened? Al Larison's. Get out, Reese. Go on. Chris, pass, pass. Yes, you know, yeah. And he had a left, too? Yeah. Okay. Look at him. Look at him. Why he look so tall, though? Look how tall this man look. When he stopped growing. Like... Like, middle school, ma. Yeah, middle, eighth grade. He was taller than everybody. He was like six two, six one, whatever he yeah. is right now. Hey, but, uh, I think it was blocked. Uh, let's go. Oh, oh, that's me right here. You? Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, uh. Mr. Do something. Hey. <laughs> All right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Oh, oh. If, if y'all played one on one in fifth grade, who would have won? What? Fifth grade. Me. What was I doing show. in fifth grade? <laughs> Running, Run. playing football. <laughs> I was cold at football in fifth grade, though. Man, what? No, I would have ran, <laughs> ran you over. No, I just can't. Man, I was a dog at football. What am I right now? Who's going to win? In, f in what? In football. That's not a question, me. Facts. I would, I would have no envision of getting tackled right now. <laughs> <laughs> no no question. That ain't no fun. That's why you run out of bounds. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I, I was doing. I was the quarterback, though. Okay, okay. You can still get hit. Yeah, but I just fall down. Uh, one so, of those. Yeah, like. Tom Brady, they touch me, I'm getting mad. Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> okay, there you go. Yeah, Lamar Jackson. I wouldn't say him. No, but I wasn't no, trying no, to no, run yeah, like that. No. He was probably like a in the pocket, like a Terrell Pryor. Oh, Dak Prescott. Oh, I'm just capping. No, I wasn't him. Tyrese, what would uh, fifth grade Tyrese think about you becoming an All Star for the first time? <sighs> Honestly, he'll be like, I don't know. He'll be proud. He would. I wouldn't say he would expect it. I'd just say that like, he'll expect the the progress. You know what I mean, me getting better every single day, every single year. Um, that's something that we kind of. I kind of found out at a younger age. So. Who were your favorite players growing up? Uh, D. Wade, Allen Iverson, and Trace McGrady. What do all three of them have in common? They were really good. Because pretty soon I could say that D. Wade, Allen Iverson, Tracy McGrady, and Tyrese Maxey are all all-stars. Hope so, yeah. 
How does that feel? I mean, I would say surreal, but like now I just, I don't know. I just think uh, I, I worked extremely hard to get where I am. Um, a lot of people didn't believe in some of the things that I said mm -hmm. when I was younger around that, the time that film that you just showed. A year after that, well, it was some sixth grade film on there too, but I just remember being in the sixth grade and um, telling people, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Kentucky, get a scholarship from Coach Cal, be McDonald's All-American. I'm gonna go to the league and I'm gonna, you know, go from there. And all these good things are gonna happen. You know, when you tell people that when you're a sixth grader, they don't really believe you. But in the back of my mind, I really believe that and I, it came true. NBA jersey sales came out, I think yesterday at the time of this filming, ninth is Tyrese Maxey among all NBA players' jersey sales this season. How does that one feel? Now that, if I told myself that in February, I don't know if I would believe that one. I'm not gonna lie. That's just blessed. And I appreciate all the fans. I appreciate everybody who decides to wear or buy Maxey jerseys. I feel like uh, it, we're doing something really special here in Philadelphia right now and trying to be, you know, keep growing the organization, keep growing the franchise and also bring in W's. And we've been doing that. So as soon as we get back help, we'll keep doing that as well. So it's been great. We talk about your rookie year a lot, and there were no fans in the building. But your sophomore year, there were a few. And that was the first time that you saw a kid wearing a Tyrese Maxey jersey. Do you remember what it was like the first couple times you saw someone wearing your jersey? I really don't, honestly. I can't, I can't really, re like, recall exactly the moment. But just seeing my name on an on a NBA jersey, and it's not actually on my body, was like, kind of surreal like it's actually like it was in the store you know what I mean like that's that's crazy to me like people can actually purchase a jersey of mine and like it's not me wearing it so it's kind of cool um I just kind of embraced it I really do appreciate it. every time I go to games or I see people with maxi jerseys or I try to sign them if I can um I just try to show love as much as possible in Philadelphia and around the world this Christmas a lot of kids asked for Tyrese maxi jerseys opened them on Christmas day and we're thrilled with, with what they had. How does that look in your head when you think about those kids wanting and getting that gift? I just go back to when I was a little kid mm -hmm. and wanting the way away jersey. I remember he had a, like nickname jerseys uh, for Christmas. I wasn't able to get those. My mom was able to give me a red the way away jersey I used to wear all the time. And I was extremely ecstatic about it. So I hope they felt the same way about opening a Tyrese Maxi jersey. And I do appreciate them for the love. At this point in the season, you guys have dealt with a lot of injuries. You've seen a lot of good things from, from your teammates and some tough losses on this road trip specifically. What's it been like to, to watch your team try to figure itself out and, and watch guys come off the bench and, and get more minutes and more opportunity? Um, what has it been like from your vantage point over the last couple weeks? I think it's been great for us, honestly. I know sometimes the losses in the season, you know, you don't like to lose, you never like to lose. But it's great because at the end of the day, you just never know who's going to have to show up in the playoffs. My rookie year was me. You know, I played in a game six where I didn't play like the last two or three games, and I had to come out in game six. I was the first one off the bench and, and perform for my teammates and have performance help us get a chance at a game seven. So you just never know who it is, who's going to be any given night in the playoffs, who's going to give you that spark. I remember last year, game five at the house, didn't play much in the first two, in the first series, in the first half of the second series. He comes in game five and gives us a huge spark, plays well for the rest of the series. So. You just never know what it, who it's going to be. And I think this is a perfect time to find out who can give you something special in the playoffs when that time comes. When you don't play, you're always on the bench, which I think is really special. You're really engaged. And in timeouts, you're also on the floor, like usually dribbling, talking to a ref. Like You can feel how badly you want to be playing. Um, what is the experience like in street clothes? Uh, yeah, it's, I, I mean, I always want to be in uniform. I want to be in my costume. I want to be out there performing on the court, helping my teammates win games. But uh, supporting them is great as, great as well. You know, last year, I, I didn't get to, I was actually injured mm -hmm. to where I couldn't play. And I was out for a long time. So any night that I got to go out there and support them, I was out there trying to coach them up, trying to do anything possible to help us win games and, fill it, and help myself be impactful to our team. And now, you know, just the last couple of games that I've been out, I've been doing the same thing, just being out there, supporting my teammates, trying to help them with different things, talk to guys, and try to give suggestions out there to help us win. Well, listen, by the time this comes out, you will be back out there. People will be thrilled. So thank you for reflecting. And we're so excited about the next few weeks because I think they're going to be really big for you. Hope so.